Good morning my friends. My name is Chrissy and this is Everyday Tibbets. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to do a few things around the house. I have a crock pot recipe for you and I think we're going to do maybe a little decorating. So let's get into the day. So we've officially made it through the first week of school with success. Everything went well. Um, we had a few nice fall days, but we are back into like really gross, disgusting, humid weather. We're supposed to have rain for the next two days. Today's the last sunny day for uh, a little bit, but the air is just like thick like pea soup outside. Um, I do have like a few things to do around the house today. Um, I want to make a chicken chili, something very light in the crock pot. So I'm trying a new recipe off the Weight Watchers app. So in a little bit, I have to run to the store and make a return. And Aldi's is right next door. So I'm going to go in there and see if I can find the things that I need for my chili. And then we'll see what the day has to bring. I'm going to try to get up in the attic and get my fall stuff down so that I could at least decorate the porch today. I do have to clean my bathrooms. I don't want to do it. <laughs> That is my least favorite chore. Bathrooms, ugh. But it has to be done. It has to be done. So that's what we're doing today, guys. We're gonna get into our day. I've been trying my best not to think about you. But you're stuck in my mind. These ginormous boxes in my garage were delivered yesterday. They are new trash cans for outside. And the reason why I ordered them online and just didn't go to Home Depot to pick them up is because I wanted the most obnoxious color I could find so that they stand out in the street, nobody can hit them, and nobody can steal my garbage cans. Because, let's face it, nobody has these obnoxious orange garbage cans. Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up yeah. next few clips are from the other day. I was going to plant these window boxes on my railings on the porch, but it didn't quite work out. They didn't fit properly and they kept leaning over. So that was my plan and it was an epic fail. I wound up returning the window boxes and used some pottery pots in my garage to just replant these pots and decorate my porch with them. Pushing me down instead of pulling me up So tell me what I'm supposed to do Just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up yeah. I don't know if you can tell by the look on my face, I was pretty bummed about the window boxes not working out the way I wanted to. I had this vision of how I would have wanted my porch to look for the fall. I wanted these beautiful overflowing window boxes with mums and it just didn't work out. So I'm trying to roll with the punches and make lemonade out of lemons. And I'm just, I don't know, going with the flow here. So I kind of like the way it turned out. If you like it too, let me know in the comments. Was messed up, pushing me down instead of pulling me up. So tell me what I'm supposed to do just to be alright. Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up. Yeah. I get a lot of comments about me liking to wear athletic wear at home, just lounging around, and usually I don't, but the reason why you always see me in athletic wear in my videos is because I wake up and change out of my pajamas into my athletic wear to motivate me to go and work out before anything else. And usually that's what I do. And then when I'm done, I get the rest of my chores done and then I shower and put on normal clothes. <laughs> I'm crazy, but I know I am. 
I had ordered these from Amazon because I saw them on another influencer's channel. Shout out to Ashley from Till Dac Vacuum Do Us Part. She has these on her garage and I thought they were really cute. So I ordered them because they provided a coupon code. So I got them for around $12 and I figured I would try to see how they look on my garage. They're magnets guys and they stick so easily and I think they look cute. But at first I was torn about them. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of them. I'm on my way to Aldi's and I might stop at Home Depot, which is right next door and get a few pumpkins for the front porch. But can we just talk about my hair? It is so humid out right now. I'll, I'm just going to give you, I'm just going to give you an idea of how humid it is. I want you to see my windshield to my car. Well, you can see it right here. This is the humidity. There was not even any rain. That was humidity. It is thick pea soup air out here. It's disgusting. But I just want you guys to let me know if you like those magnets that I put on my garage. I'm not sure that I like them. I'm really not sure if it's my style. I don't know. I have to feel it out. I have to drive up to the house a few times to evaluate that because I'm not really sure that I like them. Um, they were like $12 on Amazon. They do look very nice on some houses. I got the idea from Ashley um, and Chase. Their channel is Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I got that idea from them and it looks great on their house, but I'm not sure that it's my style. So let me know guys in the comments what you think of those magnets because I'm pondering them. But anyway, I have to go get the stuff for the chili. Kohl's is not open yet, so I can't do my return until later. But we have a dentist appointment this afternoon, so I will have to go out and do that then. And I'm going to take my daughter into Kohl's and see if maybe she um, can find a few shirts or something like that for school. So it'll like be killing two birds with one stone. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to run to Aldi's, maybe Home Depot, like I said, come back. Um, then I need to go for a really long walk as my workout today. Uh, it's gross out. But if I get that done early enough and then I can take a shower and then I'll be ready for, you know, when my daughter gets home and we can go to the dentist, but then I have to clean the bathroom sometime today, but yeah. All right, guys, I just got back from Aldi and I will show you on Monday the little mini grocery haul and explain to you everything that I got with the Weight Watchers point values. So I'm just going to put this away right now and you'll see this haul on Monday. Okay, so I'm going to have a little quick breakfast and then I'm going to go for my really long walk so that I can get back in time to get a few more things done and take a shower so that I can go to the dentist this afternoon with my daughter. So I'm having a pear and I'm also going to have a whoop, apple almond crisp belt bar. I have to talk to you a minute about these built bars. I'm not a protein bar person, honestly, I'm really not. Like I would not talk about something that I didn't love. So I have to tell you that every built bar that I have tasted, I've really liked the flavor. I really like the texture. They're kind of chewy. It makes me feel like I'm eating something that's bad for me, but I'm not. Um, in particular, this um, apple almond crisp has 18 grams of protein and um, not a lot of sugar at all. So that's what I love about them. There is five grams of fat and only four grams of sugar. It's really not that bad. Some of them only have two grams of sugar or three grams of sugar. So if you're doing Weight Watchers Blue like I am, this apple almond crisp is only four points. So that's not bad for a breakfast with a piece of fruit. Um, the other ones, are, a lot of them that I have are three points. Like the orange one is three points and the chocolate one is three points. I also have a cherry barcia, which is three points. But then the apple almond crisp that I have and the chocolate strawberry one, that one is also four points. But 
I always keep this on me, whether it's in my car in the winter because I don't want it melting in the summer, or in my pocketbook, or in my work bag, or in my cooler at work, because if you're on the go and you're starving, you get hangry, and I don't want to cheat. So to have a low point little snack with me and that's super portable is very convenient for me and very helpful for me on my weight loss journey. It's also for a quick breakfast, like I don't have time today to sit down and have a formal breakfast. I have to go out and exercise and do my walk and do my things around the house because I have an afternoon appointment, so I have to get going. So this is perfect for me, my pear and my Bilt Bar. But Bilt Bar just came out with protein balls and I also ordered these. Now, just as a reference, the protein balls are six points, but there's two in there, so if you only have one, it's three points, and that's really, they're really delicious, and three points, they're kind of heavy, so like a three-point snack just to get you over a hump of being hungry is actually perfect. So these are chocolate, and they have peanut butter in the middle. There's also coconut almond, which I already ate all of them. They're gone, So, but those are also six points. But there's protein balls, and then there's also these puffs, which are a chocolate covered marshmallow. Now I got the coconut ones and I have the mint ordered, they're on the way. And I'm very excited to try the mint because I love anything mint, but chocolate mint is on the way. And there's also a banana cream puff, which I'm probably gonna order to try. But I have a friend that is also addicted to Bill Bars just like me. So we'll order different flavors and then we'll split them and swap out and try different flavors. But um, these actually remind me of those candies, those chocolate marshmallow bunnies or Santas that you get in your Christmas stocking or in your Easter basket. That's exactly what these remind me of. And they feel like I'm having something very bad for me. Like I said, like a piece of candy that's not good. But there's protein in here. There's 16 grams of protein and six grams of sugar. It's only 130 calories and these are three points. So let me tell you, I'm addicted to Bill Bar. So if you guys wanna try Bill Bar, you can click on the link in my description box and you could put in the code TIDBITS10 and you'll get 10% off your purchase. And let me tell you, it's so worth it because they are delicious and I am obsessed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna finish my pear. I actually got a good batch of pears today at Aldi. Mm, they're like juicy and sweet. I'm quite satisfied. So I'm gonna get my headphones and my little visor, my shoes on and get to stepping. I keep falling under all this pressure. Okay, so I am back from my walk. I did a little over three miles today, a brisk walk, and I listened to a podcast while I was doing that, and it was great. Um, very humid today, so <laughs> I did not enjoy it as much as I would have if the weather was a little less humid. But anyway, I was in the mood for a chili today, so I'm slimming it down by doing a white chicken chili with lots of vegetables in it. The captions on the screen will show you what I'm putting in here. And this made my house smell so good. I love crock pot meals, especially in the fall because they just free up your hands and free up your day and you can smell it all day long and it makes you look forward to the meal. I'm by myself, but never alone. I got my friends when I'm on my own. Calling us friends, calling us friends, calling us friends. I took my chicken breast out of the freezer last night and put it in the refrigerator. It didn't thaw completely all the way, but that's okay because when it's partially frozen, it actually makes it easier to cut into bite-sized pieces like that. So if my chicken looks a little boxy, that's why. But like I said, it makes it cut a lot easier if it's partially frozen.
I'm gonna make myself some lunch. What I did was I took a package of white button mushrooms and I cleaned them and then I took the stems off. So that way they are like little containers. And then I'm using the Trader Joe's spinach and kale um, Greek yogurt dip. And this is one point for two tablespoons. So I'm gonna measure out four tablespoons in this little container so that way I know that I'm not going over. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stuff the mushroom caps and I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm gonna use the conventional air fryer setting in my toaster oven and I'm gonna do 450 for 10 minutes and see how they come out. I'm sorry, we're gonna do 400 for 10 minutes and see how they come out. I'll just keep an eye on them. I've never done this before. I saw this in like the Connect on the Weight Watchers app. Somebody had made this, so I'm just gonna try it and see how it comes out. Here's my mushrooms. I actually added five more minutes to the cooking time. I did 400 at um, 400 degrees for 15 minutes, and they came out really good. They're delightful looking. I tried to sprinkle them with everything but the bagel seasoning, but it didn't stick. So next time maybe I will try putting the seasoning on first and then cooking them. But I think they're lovely. And if you make a whole batch of them, like they'd be perfect to put out as an appetizer if you're having a party or something. I looked into my fridge and I realized that I have this zucchini that is just about to go bad. So I think I'm gonna use it in my um, chili. So I feel like when you make a chili that the more vegetables you use, the better it is. Especially if you're trying to lose weight because the vegetables are all like zero points and it beefs up the hardiness of your chili. So just add as many vegetables as you want, any vegetable that you want into your chili and it's always gonna make it better, I feel. Like if you have peppers, throw peppers in there, all different kinds of onions, like zucchini and any kind of squash. Like I looked up this recipe on the Weight Watchers um, site and it said nothing about the squash. I just thought that since we're getting into fall that the addition of the squash was my idea and I felt like it would just add to it. So I'm cutting the pieces of my squash fairly kind of big um, so that way the squash doesn't get too you know too mushy in there because I have a feeling it's gonna get a little mushy but that's okay it'll just like I said it'll bulk up my chili and just add a little bit of extra volume to it there's like a there's a diet called the volumetrics diet that is based on that principle like if you want pasta you measure out your portion of pasta and then you beef it up with, with vegetables so you're actually getting more volume without the extra calories so I'm just gonna add this zucchini into my crock pot it's been cooking for about two hours and we have about four hours left to go so if it gets mushy what ups? it's just me eating it I'm not feeding guests it's I feel like I love zucchini, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that this zucchini into the pot, and then I'm probably gonna add a little bit more seasoning since I do have more in the pot. So I went to the local farm in my area and I picked up these pumpkins. Um, she said they're going to be getting more pumpkins. Usually I put out some cheese pumpkins as well and also some green pumpkins. I got a bag of gourds there. Um, they're going to be getting more so I'll have to be going back there to get more stuff. But I did get some stuff to start out with. And I'm going to start decorating my porch because tomorrow's going to rain. The next day is going to rain. So I'm going to do it. I have to do it today. So that's what I'm going to be doing now is starting to put some stuff out for fall on my porch. Like I'm awake 
inside of a dream You're getting closer, night's almost over I might just ask you to leave now So this is what I have so far with the pumpkins and the gourds I definitely need more I need some more green And then I didn't even realize that this one's a little rotten So I need to get rid of that and replace it But so far I have this now I just have to replace that sign up there and I have to replace my wreath and put my new fall flags out. With me. going to get my daughter's lunches ready for the next two days. I usually try to do two days um, worth at the same time. I'm going to make her some wraps today, one savory, one sweet. I'm starting out with some cream cheese. I'm going to do some ham and cheese and roll it up, put a little carrots in the middle. And then the next one's going to be apples and cinnamon with peanut butter. And I've never made the apple one for her before, so I hope she likes it. But I try to surprise her and do something different every time. So we'll see how she likes it. not own an apple corer like this one I suggest you get one because man this is a game changer I purchased mine from Pampered Chef and I absolutely love it and the good thing about it is that it's also dishwasher safe The other half of the apple, I just cut it up and made a little after school snack for my daughter so that she can have something to eat while she's upstairs doing her homework.
When I went to Aldi today, I found these little snack packs. Today I'm putting the fruit and cheese with crackers in with her savory wrap. Tomorrow I'm putting one in with vegetables and dip with her sweet wrap. I always try to put a fruit and a snack in with her sandwich on her lunch. Okay hey guys, well I am exhausted. I'm gonna wrap it up for the evening. We went to the dentist, I went to the store, I decorated, I made a crock pot meal, which I'll show you in a minute, and I packed my daughter's lunch. I'm very tired. I'm ready to just sit on the couch, relax, and watch TV. Um, and then tomorrow we'll do it all over again. But um, I just wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. If you could, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits and Facebook at everyday tidbits. And if you're interested in purchasing Built Bar, you can use that code tidbits10 for 10% off your purchase at the link in my description box. So. With that being said, I hope everyone's being safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.